Good afternoon, Line Golf Academy members, guys, and welcome back to another episode. And today we're going to be diagnosing Nellie Corda's golf swing. And Nellie Corda was the number one ranked golf in the world until she suffered a blood clot in the arm. But she is on her way back after mending and after winning a couple of tournaments recently. Told her she's won eight tournaments, one major, and I'm looking forward to showcasing what she can do and how we can learn from her motions. As you all know, we are independently different, and as such, our swing should be independently different. But we can also look at what the best in the world share with each other and try and get to that position so if you're not working with the golf professional i highly suggest you do and just to let you know on our next episode i'm going to be playing six holes of golf with a putter and to see what i can do so if you want to see me embarrass myself and potentially break my putter and my wrist go ahead and hit that like and subscribe we can help the channel grow but let's get right to it and see what we can learn from the great nelly corda front view is very telling on a couple of things that are going that I see that usually play a part in her impact position and number one is her ball position so her ball position to me it's slightly more centered than I would have imagined and this just goes to tell you that all setups are not exactly the same you know she is a very tall individual almost six feet tall she has very long arms and she's able to use these arms a little bit different than what you and I can do she keeps her lower body very stable and torques a lot around with her upper body and she has a lot of width on the downswing which most of us lose our width and if you take a look I'll explain here if we draw a straight line from her ball position to her center of her chest you can see that a majority of her left side is leaning over that golf ball most of this tour pro at this level will have their spine matching that line so they're kind of leaning a little bit more behind the golf ball getting their power kind of stacked behind the ball so when they drive through and turn their hands can get out in front but because Norda has long arms this ball position can now play a counteractive force that's going on and I'm not sure which one came first the ball position or this action or one caused the other during her development so if we take a look at she takes that club back you can see she's right against that right brace line on her right hip she is getting her weight over to the right side you can see that by her head sliding slightly out of that little half box that i've got drawn there and what we'll do is we'll go back to halfway point where she's nice and wide and we'll put a little line where her hands are and compare that to when she comes back around at impact so at the top of her swing we can see an incredible amount of rotation at the top of her swing you can see that shoulder turn is well past 90 degrees and her hip turn is well shot of 45 degrees so she is developing a lot of torque a lot of potential kinetic energy that's being stored up so she can unwind and as long as she holds that angle for as long as she can this is where she hits it so far she's averaging 275 which is about 20 yards further than the number one ranked golfer in the LPGA Tour and this is one of the reasons why so for those that think you need to get the club to parallel look at this position she has her shoulder rotation about 110 120 degrees and her club is just getting to parallel so for the rest of us like struggle get to get to 90 degrees your club shaft should only be connected to your shoulder turn and the amount of wrist hinge that you can establish just a quick announcement here we are doing a thousand subscriber giveaway where i will give away 10 private lessons with me and if you don't live in southern california i will go ahead and purchase a private lesson with a pj golf professional near you all you have to do is subscribe to us and then also put summer in the comments down there wichita and if you don't know what that means that's from our reddit golf swing analysis series but anyway let's get back to the video so we're going to leave those lines at the top just to see how much she uncoils and as she takes her swing down you can see the uncoiling action starts from the ground so ground up she gets that left hip over to that lead side now we take a look at her hands her hands have not pulled into her body as much as some other players do and that's because she has those long arms and she's actually establishing and maintaining her width that motion that separation is only from her sliding back to the target and what we can see here too is that action going down her hands are trying to reconnect to that lower plane line soon so that flattens out her swing arc and allows her to swing a slightly up at impact which is what we want even with that ball position that kind of favors a little bit of a flip and i know that some instructors out there think she flips it but in reality with that ball position she kind of has to release a little bit soon but she does a great job of establishing this position and holding it as she rotates so as we keep turning her right shoulder is coming around getting in front of her chest she's able to maintain most of that hinge right until about hip height now that's when the hands have to kind of release that tension no no human on earth is strong enough to hold that position all the way through the impact and that is where the release happens now look at where the ball position is in relation to her chest so she is still 
a lot of her body weight, including some of her upper body, is over that golf ball, which is why she has to kind of get those hands to release a little bit soon and look at that left arm. It breaks and starts to move up. So her path of her hand is definitely moving up, which is what you would like, because now that's right in front of her chest. So she is actually delaying her tilt slightly because if she tilted and returned back to her tilt where she should have been, she's going to ground that golf ball. So because of that ball position, I believe that there's more rotation and less tilt before before she strikes a golf ball and that left arm kind of breaks down to avoid striking the ground but watch what happens just after impact as we come on through now we see that tilt finally catch up and her arms have released so the rest of it is there her left leg has posted up on that impact line and the right leg has driven all that power up through towards the hands and if you take a look at the tilting that's now tilting and if we look at where those crisscrossed if we back up to where impact is they're pretty close to where they crisscrossed i think one more frame would have been right there so that's kind of where her ball position should be if she was able to get those left arms to be a little bit straighter and not turn as much and get a little bit more tilt she did reach number one in the world so she has a lot of talent a lot of hand-eye coordination to pull this slight little move off i'm not saying it's right or wrong i'm just showing you just to see how even the best in the world have their little nuances to help them hit the golf ball She's one of the longest hitters on tour. She's one of the most successful drivers of the game, hitting close to 75% of the fairways. Clearly, she knows that hit the golf ball fantastically. Now, as we come on through, we can see a nice balance finished on that left side. We can see the hands still connected to the chest. So as long as that chest rotates, you're in good position. And when she finishes up on her left side, everything meets that impact line. I hope that helps you out. And remember, this is just my interpretation of what we can learn from the best in the world. I'm not here to try and say you need to emulate the swings, but just kind of look at some cause and effects and how certain people can get away with it. But we're not like them. We don't hit thousands of balls a week. But if you feel like you got some education out of it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below what you think of her swing and what you can try and emulate that might help you. But other than that, I will see you next time. Fair and green. Thanks.